<clears throat> Good morning. I actually just came on, just coming on for a little bit just to explain why I have not been on this week yet. And I'm in hopes of coming on later. I hope I'm not blocking the speaker. Later after, or if I end up doing what I'm trying to do today. I was originally supposed to work half the day today, but that got canceled, and I worked all day Tuesday. My daughter was home on Monday. We were together, and then I did cleaning yesterday, and I did the Glenn Levitt whiskey promo, but the people at the store, the owners and everyone, wanted to keep it, so they traded me some Jameson for it. So that's how good that whiskey is. I will be doing it again this Saturday, so I am planning on doing the video next week. I am having high anxiety due to the circumstances that are going on in my life that I really don't want to get into. They are in some of my videos. Um, last month, I recorded my daughter because that was the only way to get the truth, even though I wasn't able to use that recording. I wasn't able to use a voice recording from my mother. I wasn't able to show pictures from our wedding only a year and a half ago and pictures throughout the years. And all I can say, I'm not ready to talk about it. I'm having sleepless nights. I literally have no makeup on right now. I just have some lipstick because I tried to make myself not look so bad. I've been doing a little bit of cleaning again today and paperwork and getting jobs that I have for promos because I do have a lot of promos coming up and I've been trying to teach but that's been hard to focus on with all that's going on actually anything's almost hard to focus on right now I literally got um, $15 from doing a survey and it's just unexpected and I was like oh I should go see that movie Judy because I usually go to the movies with my daughters sometimes my husband it used to be a lot with my mother I don't think we, her and I have went to the movies since like 2011 now. We used to actually have a ritual of going every Friday because I would work and go to college and Fridays I used to have off. But that all changed. And um, I'm having anxiety about going to see Judy. Yes, I'm going to be going by myself. I haven't went to see a movie by myself since I think that movie, was it 2000 BC? I don't know if I'm saying it right. And I did see Natural Born Killers by myself. But then I ended up going to see it with my mom too. I don't really usually like to go by myself. I don't mind to be by myself though. Because this weekend, my husband's going to take me to see Joker. So I'm really excited about that. So we're going to have a nice date night. But I just feel like I need to get out of the house and away from this area. Because I walk outside to like check the mail or take out recycling or garbage take out garbage or if I want to water it's hard because my parents I can see their house and they they're going back and forth well my mom doesn't really go she goes back and forth every day but she's barely there she tries to go when the girls are in school she tries to not be around when they're around she doesn't even live here she caused all these problems and it's just like a wave of emotions still because it happened two weeks ago and there's still not a finalized part that's supposed to be coming up. Mm. And it's just like almost holidays again and they started all this really bad and back up but the worst last Christmas. So it's almost been going on a year. Which is why I was compelled to start my channel uh, a lot to do with the Chris Watts case because I read and saw how um, Chris and his family acted to uh, Shanann and then how you know Chris's family was and everything so it kind of reminds me it actually reminds me of my family a lot and I'm trying to study up and read up on like narcissism because that's what my parents both are and I'm like the scapegoat and my brother's like the golden child just for an example just a little bit ago I was picking up some newspapers and putting them in the recycling because my trash comes tomorrow and picking up some sticks that fell in the yard and stuff and I see my dad get out, which my mom just came by because she washes her clothes and dries them there because she cannot wash and dry them in the house, between the two houses that she lives with her lover. Yeah, she's still married to my dad. And it's just crazy. She'll go there and drop clothes off and leave. 
and then go back in there and get them. And it's mostly when the girls are not even around, which is obvious. Everyone knows. And the person that they had as a witness, which was a bogus witness, because my husband's never seen her in the seven and a half years he's been here. My younger daughter refuses to go down there now because of how much they lied. She's like, Rose, I haven't seen Rose since before Trent lived here, or maybe right when Trent moved here. I'm like, I don't know. Your grandparents, and now your sister, which she's a teenager, thank God she's not little and this is going on because... It'd be awful because we had so much of a structured schedule with going to dance, going to build and grows, going to fit clubs, going to church, going to the park, going to the beach, going you name it. It's still bad that it's happening right now, but at least in two and a half years, Jasmine will be an adult. And hopefully she comes to the conclusion that she got bamboozled and brainwashed in this situation. So anyways, I'm trying to be strong. I have been continuing to work. Yes, thankfully it's only part-time, even though it's still like three to four days a week, and I still have days that I have to cook and clean and do all the shopping and the bill paying, because I do most of that, and then trying to just come to grips with this. And then um, I recently had some more biopsies done. Cannot really see them. I had eight that they want to do, and they did four this month and they're doing four more next month well the four came back and I'm cleared hallelujah praise Jesus on that one because I have four more to do next month and a lot of people just look at that as nothing or something I want to just be doing no and they don't even care that this is going on but I thank God for my husband and my younger daughter. I know my older daughter has lost her way because just last month she was telling all of us she wants to be back here even though this situation is basically, to put it in a nutshell, my parents live three or four houses down if you haven't watched my other videos and they've been trying to start to take over custody of my older daughter because I would not let them claim her for taxes even though I was given their part of her taxes and still doing for her. She still was here a lot until the recently past year or two. And just, even though I still was giving her money and buying her clothes and doing everything up until September. Now I'm just completely distancing myself from them because they completely lied under oath. We're all shocked of how much they lied in order just to get a little bit of money a month, if even. Whenever Jasmine was getting money a month, they were getting food. It was kosher, and it she was like back and forth. And the way that they've changed all this and made it seem and what they've done to their granddaughters and to their daughter is mind-blowing. And it has me in such anxiety that I feel anxiety just going to see this movie by myself. I was going to make me a little bit of lunch because I had some coffee and had breakfast here. And then just go watch that movie and then head on home. And I'm going to be cooking some Hawaiian pork loin this afternoon, which I really wish I could do a video on that. So I'm also making some homemade potato cakes. So I'm really making a good homemade dinner like I usually do most of the week. But everything reminds me of how it was. Everything reminds me of the situation. Me and my husband and younger daughter want to move, but she still wants to go to the school and kind of stay within this area because, of course, we work here, even though I can kind of move a little more than anyone. That's the advantage I have. But they grew up here, and it's but at the same time, we don't want to be here anymore. But we're trying to not get in over our heads about it. So it may be another couple years, unfortunately. Well, as much as I can possibly handle, that is. I'm just trying to stay strong in my faith of Jesus. I haven't been going to church as much lately because either I haven't been feeling good or we're all tired out or just all this situation. It's brought a lot of us down. It's, it's something you really wouldn't understand unless you're going through it. But the best way to describe it is imagine when you're watching a movie and you see the actual evil person or the villain or the actual truth of what's going on. But, of course, you're seeing that. But everyone else in the movie is not seeing that. So they believe the bad person. 
it's it's a scenario like that it's just it's something that's so bizarre that I don't want to have a grudge. I want to forgive and forget. I know in my heart I'm trying to every day forgive. It's only been fresh. But I will never forget. I don't know how there's any going back to anything about this. Now my daughter, who was almost 18 in two and a half years, I will go back to everything for this. And I still will get her things on her birthday and Christmas and such but I cannot be around these toxic people I'm tired of being their scapegoat they are ruining all of our lives and theirs because we're talking about my parents are like mid to late 60s my mom doesn't want to be a grandmother they want to undermine me and try to go over my head to get my older daughter but yeah, I'm still here with my younger daughter who's 12, seeing all this, wondering why this is going on, wondering why they're lying, wondering why they're trying to conquer and divide when we're all family. So I wanted to catch you up as best I could. One day I probably will tell the whole story of it. I don't know when. I want to just go on, pray for my daughters, pray for them, do what I need to do. And move on from this situation. I don't want to have this anxiety anymore. That's why today I want to go see this movie. Which I don't know if this movie is going to help me. But at the same time, I have talked about Judy Garland on my channel. And I wanted to talk about the movie. Because I really do believe this movie is going to get an Oscar. I really do believe Renee Zellweger will. I think it's going, it's going to be a great documentary. I think it's very awesome. And that, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just seeing on the news. That, we have some kind of tropical disturbance. I'm, I live in Florida, so we still have hurricanes that could happen until November 2nd. I wish my phone would stop doing that. We have hurricanes that could still go into November 2nd, and we're still in hurricane season. So, and we did have had them a lot in October. Uh, it's been one thing after another. It's just... And I do plan on doing Glen Lovett. Hopefully these people don't bother me because I'm keeping that bottle. I like the taste of it. It's awesome. It's a 14-year-old whiskey. I do want to go see Judy. I am trying to get myself to go do it today because I work tomorrow and Saturday. And then Sunday I will be with a hubby. I might even be possibly working a little bit then. And then we're going to go do some family things in the afternoon for Halloween. And then it's just all this times that I have. And that I don't have. So that's the update on my channel. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend coming up. I hope to come back later. I wish I could do a video on what I'm going to cook. Never know. Probably be people home though so I won't. And hopefully I get to do a review on Judy and my anxiety goes away. God bless.